Shout to the ghosts and the ghostettes. On this episode of Demons Row TV, we answer the question that I get all the time. What is a one percenter? We get into the origins, what it takes to get into a one percent club, and we get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. No, yeah, we ghosting, baby. Shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about it. I constantly get this question, and we're always on to such bigger topics of everything that's going on in the culture with everything that's going on in the world right now that we don't ever get to the basics and break it down what is a one percenter and i looked around to see if like other people really talked about it but i didn't see too much about it so i figured i would get into it and shed some light and we'll get into the origins the real story of how and why we wear diamonds and we're gonna get into all those aspects but the first thing i want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row and shout to everybody that got unsubscribed by youtube i don't know why it's happening but i have a lot of people that got unsubscribed and then they subscribe back shout to everybody that's been riding with me this whole year and some change that we've been doing our thing it's been a fun ride and we just growing and growing together so i appreciate you for that follow me on instagram at sosa the ghost underscore at demons row Follow the Sos the Ghost page and big shout to everybody that has been supporting the Demons Row clothing. Y'all are amazing. But let's get into it. This week's certified ghost that goes out to California. Badass Jesse Lynn at Powerful Peace on Instagram. Follow her. She's a business owner. She's a realtor, a seamstress drag racer stunt rider she does everything she says she looks like a lady but she rides like a beast and i see you and you are a certified ghost that this week's certified ghost goes out to brooklyn ny big john representing that combat legends mc trainer to the serrano sisters the only sisters in history to both be world champs of boxing at the same time. He is married to Cindy Serrano. Her sister is a seven division champion, Amanda Serrano. Big shout to y'all. The brother does his thing. He's a legend in these streets, surrounded by legends. Big John, you are a certified ghost. All right, y'all, let's get into it. What is a one percenter? You would think that coming from me, this would be an easy topic to talk about. But for a one percenter, it's almost like, why is water wet? Like, it's, it's that deep for a one percenter. Like, where did it come from? Why do we wear diamonds? These are the questions that I get constantly from people. And a lot of this stuff stems back way beyond you know most of our times you know we're the new era right now we're the new era of biker we're changing the way the game is looked at there's so many things that are different now 
all that old stuff that people see on TV and the way they think things are and Sons of Anarchy and all that is so much different in a real 1% club than people really think. Now, all of this stems from the AMA. That's that's one of the stories. The AMA, the American Motorcycle Association, said that 99% of the clubs are law-abiding, God-fearing, and the 1% are the outlaws, the ones that don't belong, the criminals, the worst of the worst. They embraced it. They called themselves the Lucky 13. They wore a 13 patch that was in the square until Sonny Barger from the Hells Angels came along and created the diamond with that 1% in it and changed the game forever. Now, why all other clubs started following? Did it become trendy? Certain clubs did it to combat them like the Mongols. There's a lot of different stories of how all of this stuff started. So we gotta get some OGs on the show as far as like history, like back, you know, in the in the sixties and like that with Hollister and all that going on. To get to get into that part of being a one percenter, you know, the origins and the history of it, I don't like to just go off reading and a lot of people go off the internet and the AMA thing. The homie Big Kaz actually said that it was um from an interview from an outlaw biker and he was being asked sensitive questions and um he said don't ask me any more questions i'm one percent away from giving zero fucks so that's what the homie big kaz was saying you know so is there's a lot of different stories of how everything started so unless we get like sunny on or somebody that was around even before him a lot of that is not going to be concrete I know people read stuff in books and stuff like that, but you got to also understand in a 1% life, there's certain things that will never be told to the public. So, you know, people could tell me, oh, I read Sonny Barge's book and, and he said, this is the reason why, you know, you, I don't know because I haven't read the book, but he's not going to tell you some important stuff about their history, the inside stuff. So there's certain things that we'll never know as far as origins. Now, if you want to talk about nowadays, the one percenter of now in this era, I look at the one percenter first, you have to ride an American made bike. That goes without saying. If you're new to the culture, it might not go without saying. But a one percenter to become a one percenter, you have to have an American made bike most clubs are harley only they don't even do like you know you can ride an indian or a victory some clubs are like strict has to be harley davidson to me what a one percenter is is a man that only abides by the laws of his club he doesn't concern himself with laws lawmakers you know whatever the government decides is the law now that doesn't mean that we just go and break laws purposely. But if it goes against the constitution, it goes against our bylaws, we don't respect it. We respect our bylaws, not the laws of anywhere else. That's the one major thing about a one percenter. Also, to me, more over than anything, and it might sound crazy because a lot of the one percenters you see are like wrecking balls. You always look at them like, yo, they're ready to like, damage something the toughest guys in the world that i don't deny but the one thing is i'm i'm big into looking deep into the reason why things are the way they are and a lot of things are not always you know how they seem believe it or not a true one percent club not to sound too you know like politically correct with the like i don't want to say just brotherhood it's a deeper brotherhood because it is but i mean if you really get to the root of it it's love like i love my brothers in you know in a one percent club and i'm not saying that if you're in a traditional mc or if you're in an rc or whatever that you can't love your brothers but in a one percent club you gotta earn your stripes until you get the love of your brothers and to me if you're in a 1% club and you don't 
love your brothers and love your nation, you're not a true one percenter to me. You're a 99 in a one percent club. In a 99, you don't have to love each other. You don't have to go to the meeting. You know, if you miss a meeting, yeah, brother's a bitch or whatever, but it's not like in a 1% club. In a 1% club, it's a higher dedication. That's a major factor of a 1% club, the dedication factor. When you prospect, you got to put in some massive work. And I'm not saying work as in terms of you know the the cliche shit that like you see on gangland and all that like that's 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 tv movie i want to get clicks cool shit in real life it's just about putting in works that brother needs you you wherever he's at and you helping out you flipping the burgers you cleaning up you and listen some clubs are big on hazing my club we don't do that hazing shit we respect our prospects. We treat every man like a man. But guess what? If you got a fully patch that disrespects a prospect, that prospect needs to show him that he's a man. And I'm not saying disrespect a fully patch, but you have to take your stand as a man and do it in a way with respect, but that you earn respect. Because sometimes you're being tested. So to all my prospects out there, I'm not telling you to pump your chest at a fully patched member. What I'm saying is move with respect and demand respect. There's ways of doing shit that you get that respect and that honor. To me, a one percenter also is all about seeing his nation rise. You get these clubs where people are, are like anti whatever the club is like a, a, a new chapter opens up and people are mad like that, that, that their club is expanding because they want to be the, the big fish in a small pond. Out of that mentality, I don't understand. In a 1% club, you always want to expand. You always want to grow. You want your brotherhood to be worldwide. Like, you want that love to be worldwide. You want to go on vacation somewhere and have brothers all over that area. People ask me, in a 1% club, can you be a father can you work are they gonna just tell you you gotta leave your job now i'm not gonna say that there's never gonna be a situation where you have to leave work because something important's happening it is a false narrative that you can't be a one percent and hold a job that's just that's complete tv nonsense like you gotta support your family you gotta have money to feed your kids like you gotta have money to pay for these expensive ass bikes because if you're in a club you know these Harleys, they know how important they are to us and they charge us an arm and a leg. So if you get in one for the first time, try to save up your bread and buy one. Don't get into a note like I did because it's a lot of money. You got to have money to be in a 1% club. To be a 1%er, to pay the dues, the dues are very expensive. It's not like a, a 99 where you could just pay $50 or $25. It's very expensive. So you got to have money to be able to do that and the false narrative of having to commit crimes as far as you know acts of violence and stuff like that the only time you're ever going to get violent in a one percent club is if somebody disrespects your brothers if someone crosses your family if you have to defend your family but what's the difference of not being in a club or in a club if you a man you're going to defend your family anyway you just got more family to defend. But believe it or not, the places where one percenters are, where clubhouses are, are the safest places in the world. Like you don't see a lot of crime in areas where there's one percent clubhouses. It just doesn't happen. They keep the neighborhood clean and respectable because they don't want heat from, from police in the clubhouse and all that. There's a lot of respect involved in one percenters. And, and people ask me, can you go up to a one percenter and have a conversation? Could you ask them a question? As long as you're not asking a question about patches or something out of pocket, you know, use common sense. And, and listen, a lot of people on these shows say, oh, you should know. But if you don't know, you don't know. If you've never been in the MC world, it's, it's a different world from anything in the world. Like when I first came, I had to learn a lot of shit. Like it takes years 
and that's another thing it takes years to be a true one percenter it takes years to be good enough on your bike to ride in formation with a hundred motherfuckers you know what i mean like you gotta have skills too and that's what i tell people like people ask me like you know everybody is on this kick like i want to start my own motorcycle club and all right yeah how many people you got uh it's just me and, and um two other people i mean you gotta at least have enough people to constitute a, a club you gotta have enough you you don't even have enough people to start a chapter you know what i mean and then you ask them what do you ride oh i don't have a bike right now but i have a bike soon you you gotta have a bike you gotta be good enough with your bike that you can ride in formation with a whole bunch of brothers in a one percent club everybody's been riding for years everybody knows what they're doing on the road you don't have to worry about bumping into your brother on the road and having a bad accident i never see shit like that happen like i mean you know accidents happen but i'm like in when we're rolling in a pack you don't you don't see that happen like people just know how to roll when you're in a one percent club it's that's why a lot of one percenters are mostly older it's some real grown man shit to me it's like it's the level above like i feel like when you're young you join gangs and you and you learn about like loyalty and camaraderie and disloyalty you learn a lot more about disloyalty when you gang bang but you know when you get into the mc you it's like the adult version of being in the gang like it's not all you know you fight right away if something happens it's a lot more sit downs and respect and protocol you know it's it's i wish that i would have got put on to mc life at a younger age and and i advise a lot of the young people that are that are joining gangs if you if you rock with demons row i'm telling you right now that gang shit is a dub rock with the mcs even if you just hang around and learn about the lifestyle first the mc shit will give you the camaraderie without the grimy shit it is a false narrative that you can't be a one percent and hold a job that's just that's complete tv nonsense like you gotta support your family you gotta have money to feed your kids like you gotta have money to pay for these expensive ass bikes because if you're in a club you know these harleys they know how important they are to us and they charge us an arm and a leg so if you get in one for the first time try to save up your bread and buy one don't get into a note like i did because it's a lot of money you gotta have money to be in a one percent club to be a one percenter to pay the dues the dues are very expensive it's not like a, a 99 where you could just pay 50 dollars or 25 dollars it's very expensive so you gotta have money to be able to do that and the false narrative of having to commit crimes as far as you know acts of violence and stuff like that the only time you're ever going to get violent in a one percent club is if somebody disrespects your brothers if someone crosses your family if you have to defend your family but what's the difference of not being in a club or in a club if you a man you're going to defend your family anyway you just got more family to defend but believe it or not the places where one percenters are where clubhouses are are the safest places in the world like you don't see a lot of crime in areas where there's one percent clubhouses it just doesn't happen they keep the neighborhood clean and respectable because they don't want heat from from police in the clubhouse and all that there's a lot of respect involved in one percenters and, and people ask me can you go up to one percenter and have a conversation could you ask them a question as long as you're not asking a question about patches or something out of pocket you know use common sense and, and listen a lot of people on these shows say oh you should know but if you don't know you don't know if you never been in the mc world it's it's a different world from anything in the world like when i first came i had to learn a lot of shit. like it takes years and that's another thing it takes years to be a true one percenter it takes years to be good enough on your bike to ride in formation with a hundred motherfuckers you know what i mean like you gotta have skills too and that's what i tell people like people ask me like you know everybody is on this kick like i want to start my own motorcycle club and all right yeah how many people you got uh it's just me and, and um two other people 
I mean, you got to at least have enough people to constitute a, a club. You got to have enough. You, you don't even have enough people to start a chapter. You know what I mean? And then you ask them, what do you ride? Oh, I don't have a bike right now, but I have a bike soon. You, you got to have a bike. You got to be good enough with your bike that you can ride in formation with a whole bunch of brothers. In a 1% club, everybody's been riding for years. Everybody knows what they're doing on the road. You don't have to worry about bumping into your brother on the road and having a bad accident i never see shit like that happen like i mean you know accidents happen but i'm like in when we're rolling in a pack you don't you don't see that happen like people just know how to roll when you're in a one percent club it's that's why a lot of one percenters are mostly older it's some real grown man shit to me it's like it's the level above like i feel like when you're young you join gangs and you and you learn about like loyalty and camaraderie and disloyalty you learn a lot more about disloyalty when you gang bang but you know when you get into the mc you it's like the adult version of being in a gang like it's not all you know you fight right away if something happens it's a lot more sit downs and respect and protocol you know it's it's i wish that i would have got put on to mc life at a younger age and and i advise a lot of the young people that are that are joining gangs if you if you rock with demons row i'm telling you right now that gang shit is a dub rock with the mcs even if you just hang around and learn about the lifestyle first the mc shit will give you the camaraderie without the grimy shit that's one thing about a one percent club you don't have to worry about your brother stabbing you in the back like little things like arguments between each other stuff like that regular brother shit but i mean literal like danger like i've lived that life where you you don't know if your own homie is gonna try to kill you one day like i've lived that lifestyle you know i was crip for a long time 10 12 years you know like and being in an mc the brotherhood is unmatched i'm telling you and like being in a one percent mc it's just it's, it's like nothing else like the way that your brothers love you and have your back like you you're never gonna need nothing like if, if like i need a ride somewhere or if i need something i always have a brother to rely on and they always have me and if this brother can't do it the other brother do it they'll always find a way for one of the brothers to hold you down if you really need it you'll never be on the street you'll never be alone if you need brothers there with you for real shit funerals they, they they're a hundred deep you know paying for the funeral like you don't see that in other cultures you just don't and if you do if you know a culture that does that please tell me in the comments another culture that does that because i don't see gangs and and other shit like that and this is no slight on them i'm just saying it's a younger man's game game banging is a younger man's game unless you're in cali or chicago and your whole neighborhood is that you know that type of deal but if you could get switch over to this culture you will not regret it and you won't have to constantly watch your back it's just a higher level of thinking and, and way of living life and with everything going on in the world right now you need to have real brothers by your side if you've ever been on the fence of joining a one percent club and you're a dedicated person it's not about being the most gangster either it's just about dedication and respect everybody is different kind of people you know i might be more of a loose cannon but i got brothers that's the coolest brother in the world it's not everybody's position to be the hitter some people are the ones that like drive the car when you go to do something some people are there for you know any type of reason you know it's not all about being tough and i think that people have this misconception about one percenters that it's about being tough it's actually about love it's actually having love for your brothers like being there for your brothers no matter what if you're gonna join one of these clubs be built for it pick a situation that works for you don't don't join a one percent mc and and see a lot of things that are not you and force it don't force yourself into a situation that doesn't make sense for you just step out of it and they'll see it too so you won't make it far but you'll waste everybody's time so if you've ever been on the fence about joining a one percent club 
I hope you watch this video and get something out of it. Any questions, hit me in the comments. Thank you to everybody that's been supporting the clothing. I really appreciate y'all. And thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.